All right, guys, welcome back. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support recently. The subscribers are going up crazy. Um, thanks for all the support. Thanks for the likes, comments, subscriptions. And uh, I never thought I'd actually get this far on my YouTube channel, so I appreciate it. Uh, about halfway to my 1,000 goal of my life. So um, uh, just keep doing what you're doing, guys. Thanks for the support coming back each day. Um, today, I'm going to just go over some box fill. So here's a chart right here. This is uh, 31416A. Um, these might be metal boxes, but um, I feel like they could be plastic as well. Um, so basically what these are, I'll just show you a picture real quick. So what we got going on here, these are your boxes right here. I'm just doing a little Google search. So here's your one gang box. That means just one device, uh, two gang boxes for like two switches. You can usually just tell by the holes right here. So one pair of holes is a one gang, and then two is a two gang, and etc. So there's whatever, three, four, five, how many ever you want. Um, they're plastic, metal, um, some other kind of outside material. Um, so there's tons of different boxes, different styles, different depths. Uh, you got light boxes here for the ceiling. Some have nails, some are for uh, screw-on purposes, some are like after the fact. Uh, if you want to cut a box in after the house is done or something, just cut it in for the sheetrock. This is for super skinny depth right here. Um, so anyways, those are your boxes right there, but i um, just going to show you guys how to, um, or what that exactly means, box fill. Um, so basically in your box, each box is rated for so much space to put wires in. So let's just say this is your average box right here, just a, um, not the round one, but the square one, four by one and a half, probably. That's just your one gang, four inches tall and one and a half inches wide. It's, it says it's good for 21 uh, cubic inches. So basically what that means is each wire has a, each wire has a value. So if you have a 12 wire, it's 2.25, but for, just for the sake of being easy right here, we'll go uh, 14 wire and that's good for uh, two cubic inches and I believe that's for the hot and neutral uh, the ground is counted once I think so um, in that 21 inches in your box you can have um, what is that gonna be I have to think real quick um, so that's gonna be like 10 wires no um, each wire, actually each wire counts, so the, the hot and the neutral count, I believe, if I'm remembering this correctly, it's been a while. Um, so the hot is counts for two, neutral counts for two, and then there's one ground. So that's six, uh, that counts for six out of the 21 cubic inches. So you basically you can have three wires, uh, three 14 wires, that's 18, right, uh, and I really hate thinking on the spot, but I want to do this in one video. So let's just do this real quick on the on the computer. I'll take up the calculator. So we're gonna go two, four, six for the first wire, and then after that, each ground uh, counts separately, or the grounds all uh, go together. So basically, you're just counting the hots and the neutrals from there. So we'll just add four to each one. So that's two wires, three wires, four wires. So you can only have four wires because that's over the 21. I'll show you that again real quick. So it starts out at six because you're hot neutral ground and then only count your uh, hot and your neutral after that because the ground only counts once according to the code book. So you'll just add four. So that's your second wire, third wire, fourth wire. So 18, if you add another wire after four, then it's gonna be past the 21 to 22. So according to this, you can have uh, four number 14 wires in, uh, in this specific box right here, four by one and a half inches. So that's how it works. And that's just um, due to the, uh, the devices and stuff like that. You also do have to account for the devices. So um, even if you maxed out the wire, say you got it perfectly to 21, if this magically worked out, like five wires was 21, you still couldn't do that because each device that you put in, whether it's a switch or whatever counts as 
uh, counts as double. I think it's double the uh, double the uh, wire, something like that. It's like a it's a double portion of this number, or it just counts as two. I can't remember, but it's in the code book. Um, so if you look here, it talks about the grounds right here, equipment ground right here. Uh, one or more equipment grounding connectors or equipment bonding jumpers enter a single box. A single volume allowance in accordance with this shall be made based on the larger, on the largest ground. So basically if you have a number 10 ground and then 10, or just say with three number 14s and a 10 wire, the ground is going to count as 2.5 because that's the largest ground in the box. There's a lot of stuff to go over, just trying to give you some basics here. And then... The other thing I was talking about, um, the conductor fill right here. So each conductor that originates outside the box that terminates or is placed within the box shall be counted once. Um, and then if wires pass through, it's counted once. So um, where's the device? I'm looking for the devices. Um, clamps, round metallic, equipment. Um, there's a devices over here somewhere. I'm not finding it. Nails and screws. Um, I think I'm past it by now. Anyways, there's a section on here for devices. So basically every switch or plug that you put in the box, it's counted as twice um, the volume. So basically, I think it's if you have like a 14 wire or something or a 12 wire going to the device as your biggest wire, then you're gonna count that number twice I believe, or it's just going to be counted once. Anyways, you get the idea. So, okay, advice is right here. So, for each yoke, which means per two screws or whatever, so each each yoke or strap containing one or more devices or equipment, a double volume allowance in accordance with the table shall be made for each yoke or strap based on the large conductor connected to the device or equipment supported by the yoke or strap. This says a device or utilization equipment wider than a single two inch device described in the table shall have double volume allowances provided for each gang required for mountain. So let me try to understand that real quick. I think I didn't show that on camera all the way. Um, a device or utilization equipment wider than a single should be, uh, shall have double volume allowances. Um, so I think I believe that's what it's saying is so if you have a 14 wire connected to a switch and you have to put a switch in the box one box single gang that's going to count as four so um, if it's a 21 volume box we'll go back over here real quick so 21 minus the switch so if you have one single switch that's leaves you 17 left and then minus the first wire is six minus the second wire is four, and then that leaves you three wires and a device in a single gang box with 14 wire. So hopefully that isn't breezing over it too quickly. This video is somehow eight minutes already, but hopefully that gives you an idea of how box fill works, how to determine uh, your wires, what, uh, what they add up to, how to add that up in the box. So here's your little table right here 31416 b which is right below the table 31416 a so hopefully that uh, helps you get some understanding on box fill how many wires you can put in a box with the device and uh yeah so anyways um no one left me a comment below or anything so um this is what i came up for the video today i had to go to the bank so i didn't get any on the site um video or anything for you guys but uh hopefully you leave me a comment down below if you want to see something else. Um, I'll probably get back to install videos next week. Um, I have a busy week this week, so um, it might be some more videos like this, just some knowledge-based stuff, give you some information. Or um, I'll, I'll try to do another video, at, try to do some videos at home with some of my tools and a uh, little roll of wire that I have up in the attic. So uh, let me know what you guys think. As always, appreciate you guys for stopping by. Thanks for watching. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Uh, social media is down below and uh, make sure to hit the bell if you want to check out live streams and always guys see you later peace